Hello everyone, welcome to Scardia.com. This is Dr. Sana Khan with the General Surgery course. Today we're starting uh, another module which is about the liver and we'll be talking in uh, detail the different pathological conditions which are related to the liver. In this module we'll be talking about the a little bit about the li li liver anatomy and functional capabilities of the liver. We'll be talking about the liver infections, we'll be talking about the liver trauma, we'll be talking about the chronic liver disease and portal hypertension, and then we'll be talking about the B9 and the malignant tumors of the liver in the end of the, this module. But today uh, we'll be talking about the liver trauma in detail because this is the second most uh, common uh, uh, common organ which is being affected by the trauma. So let's have the outline for the today's lecture. We'll be talking about the causes for the liver trauma and why we divide this into blunt injuries and the penetrating injuries. We'll be talking in detail the impact of the blunt injuries and the penetrating injuries on the liver and why we need actually to divide the injuries into blunt and the penetrating because there would be uh, impact on the liver and there would be some kind of impact on our investigations of the blunt and the penetrating. There they would be a difference. We'll be talking in detail about this in detail this lecture. We'll be talking uh, how uh, the patient is going to present to you with a liver injury and how are you going to rule out between a blunt injury and the penetrating injury. Then we'll be talking about the important investigations, uh, the trauma investigations we actually need in the emergency, uh, like the um, uh, focused abdominal ultrasonography, which is the fast scan. So what is the uh, need for the fast scan? Uh, what uh, would be the findings in the fast scan which are going to make um, a diagnosis of the liver injury. Then we'll be talking about the role of the contrast enhanced CD scan the damage of the parenchyma would be available, but we'll be talking in which circumstances uh, you have the time to order for the CT scan and when immediately you have to shift the patient to the OR and then you have to operate or you have to do the explore, exploratory plotomy. Then obviously we'll be talking about the management of the liver trauma and like all other traumas, they are being managed on the guidelines of the advanced trauma life support, right? So we'll be talking about the guidelines of the advanced trauma life support. We'll talk talking about the primary survey and the secondary survey in today's lecture. We'll be talking about uh, the uh, the evaluation of the patient and what actually uh, how you're going to resuscitate the patient and how you are actually uh, surgically approaching the patient. Then we'll be talking about the initial management for the penetrating injuries and uh, the blunt injuries as well. Then the surgical approach is somehow very, very much important in today's lecture. We'll be talking what kind of the incision is sufficient for the exposure of the liver and the spleen and you're assessing the injuries, a midline report may or the rooftop, which one is better, we'll be talking in detail. Then we'll be talking about the complications of the liver trauma. Uh, we actually divide the complications and the early complications and late complications. So we'll be talking how conservatively the complications would be managed and which complications need uh, to be intervened uh, by the operating surgeon and when to do that. We'll be talking about the long-term or delay complications of the liver trauma, like the bloody strictures, um, uh, you know, intrahepatic and extrahepatic bloody strictures, and when we have actually, uh, we need to, to put the patient a conservative treatment and when, when you have to go for the surgical option. So we have the other lectures on our site, which is cardia.com. You can always go there, get access, and enjoy our lectures. For the detailed lecture, keep watching cardia.com with Dr. Sana Khan.